Hello everyone and welcome to Briefs, the show where I'm going to review an anime as quick as possible and I hope you guys enjoy. Today we're going to be looking at Naruto, one of the best and worst anime of all time. The people of this world are generally known as ninjas. Ninjas are able to use chakra, which is a physical and spiritual mix of energy to use various forms of ninjutsu and genjutsu. Genjutsu is essentially what we would call magic. They can make stuff appear, disappear, make clones, create fire, create lightning. They can do a lot of things with it. Genjutsu is illusionary arts, meaning you can hypnotize people into thinking that they're seeing something or doing something that they're not actually doing. For people who cannot mold chakra, there is taijutsu. Taijutsu works the same way as it does here, where it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. The show follows a 12-year-old boy who is the Jinchuriki of the Nine-Tailed Fox. We meet up with Sasuke, who's his main rival, Sakura, who's his main love interest, and then together with Kakashi, the four of them form Team 7. They go out on a couple missions, they come back, Chunin exams happen, which is an upgrade for ninjas in the Hidden Leaf, but they get interrupted by the Jinchuriki from the Hidden Sand Village, who holds the one-tailed Shikaku in it. Naruto has a big fight with him and wins, and the third Hokage is fighting Orochimaru, one of the three legendary Sani. The third Hokage wins and loses at the same time, because he gets to seal off Orochimaru's arms, meaning he can't perform any more ninja arts, but he also loses his life in the process. After this, Naruto and Jiraiya, another one of the three legendary Sanin, go out and find the last legendary Sanin, Tsunade, so that she can become the fifth Hokage. She does this, but Orochimaru isn't done. He sends four ninjas to the Hidden Leaf to get Sasuke. They give him a pill to upgrade the curse mark that he gave him during the Chunin exams, and then take him off. Naruto and four other ninjas chase after them. They get into a lot of fights, and the sand actually saves them. Naruto ends up catching up with Sasuke, and then they start a big battle. Naruto's losing, so he powers up, starts beating Sasuke. Sasuke powers up, starts beating Naruto, and then they end up on even ground, and they decide to go up for one final attack. Naruto uses his most powerful, Sasuke uses his. There's a big explosion, Naruto ends up unconscious on the ground, and Sasuke wanders off to join Orochimaru. Kakashi finds him and brings him back to Kanaha to be put in a hospital. Jiraiya finds Naruto and offers him a choice, either give up on Sasuke or he won't train him. Naruto says, fuck that, I'm gonna still look after him and I'm gonna train with you. Jiraiya accepts and they go off to train for two and a half years. This has been Briefs and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you all will like when I post the next part of this three-part segment where I cover the Akatsuki time arc and after that, the fourth great ninja war. Until then, see you guys next time.